Go. Hi, my name is Tanish Kilidor. I'm Sahas so about you. And I'm Nidish Mani Asami. So this is our 2023 to 2024 Intro to Programming FPLA project. Today, we'll be presenting our GPA calculator, which is a powerful tool designed to streamline the process of managing your academic performances. In developing this application, we utilize HTML and CSS to craft a polished user interface that ensures seamless functionality. Throughout this presentation, we will provide a detailed explanation of the inning, inner workings of this program. As you can see, this is our code. This is the calcul the body, the calculator, the label, the input, the button. This is the input for the number of courses. This is the button that triggers the ca GPA calculation. This is the result section. This is the JavaScript function to calculate GPA. This is the root, the loop through each course to collect grade, credit, and weight. This is defining the grading scale and weights. This is to check for valid inputs and to calculate the total grades and weights. And this is to calculate unweighted and weighted GPA. And this is to update the HTML with the calculated GPAs. So this is our app. So you're going to want to begin by entering the number of courses you are enrolled in. After that, you're going to want to click the calculate GPA button. You're going to enter the letter grade for the first course. So A, B, C, D, or F. After that, you're going to enter the amount of credits the course offers, so one or two. After that, you're going to enter the weight for the course, which is regular, honors, or AP. After that, you're going to want to repeat this process for however many courses you're enrolled in. If you're enrolled in two courses, you'll repeat this process twice. After that, you will see your weighted and unweighted GPA at the bottom. Now, over the course of this calculation, if you run into any trouble, you may click the help button. This will send you to another link where it shows you all the instructions you need. First, enter the number of courses, then click calculate GPA, then enter letter grade for the course, then enter credits for the course, and then enter type of course, which may be AP, honors, or regular. Then you may click the go back button. We hope students will use our program in the future to calculate their GPA. We appreciate your time. And thank you for giving us this opportunity. Thank you.